Hello and welcome back. Today I want to set up the PX1 software for the RTX 3000 series. So let's head over to Google and we're going to type RTX PX1. Hit the first link at the top. Now this is the Precision X1 um, software. But basically this is uh, um, exclusive to the EVGA cards. And this is going to allow you to manually overclock the card and mess around with the fan curve and the RGB um, LED and whatnot. So you have three options, the standalone, um, Steam or Game Bar, which is the Xbox Game Bar and PC. I'm going to hit the standalone and this released, uh, this um, version was released February 1st, uh, 2021. So that, that should be pretty, uh, well, the, the, the newest one here, it's going to download as a zip file. And once we have that, we're going to go ahead and hit next. Agree. I'm going to also check uh, this box here, the LED sync setup. I'm going to hit next. Install. And that should take a quick uh, minute here. And once the setup is complete, we're going to hit finish. And the Precision X1 software is going to load. Now, the first time you launch the PX1 software, it will ask you for a firmware update. It's absolutely normal. You are going to update it. You will hear the GPU fans go at full throttle for a few seconds while it completes the update. So once you have PX1 open, you can see the user interface here. So at the top you have VGA, um, you have all your fan controls here. You can see the fan. Um, on the right hand side here, you'll see um, the on-screen display, the hardware monitor. LED sync and boost clock so if you hit if you turn this on it's a one-click boost clock I prefer doing it manually but I mean you can do this as well this is your ICX so this will show you the, the different components on the card and what the different temperatures are so we got our memory clock here our GPU the voltage power target uh, the fans so the three fans here and uh, this is the video card at the top the next tab here is the led so it has a rainbow wave and static and you can you can set these to whatever you want and also control the brightness and the speed and this is the led strip that's on the card so this is the side of the card and this would be the smaller strip over here we have the hardware monitor so this tab you'll see all the details of the frame rates and uh, your memory usage and whatnot and this is your power meter right here and it's 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 fairly simple fairly straightforward and you have your settings you can set different profiles and then uh, different hotkeys and whatnot and then if you go here this is where um, um, nvidia will scan the system uh, for hardware and then they will uh, they will basically submit the data on your behalf you will submit it to them and you can hit agree there i'm just going to leave that as it is and uh, yeah, so it's pretty pretty straightforward. As I said, I, I prefer uh, uh, the manual overclock and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And of course, like anything, this is gonna take uh, some time to kind of find the sweet spot and see what you can overclock your car to with stable frame rates and stable gameplay and performance, of course. Uh, my clock CPU, I'm going to start off by putting that to 100. And the memory clock, I'm going to up that to 800. I'm going to hit apply, and then I'm going to do some gameplay and benchmark this and see what I get with that. So after I bumped the clock by 100 and the memory by 800, I noticed uh, a bit of a difference here, of course, with my overall score. So my overall score was 12353, and the graphics score was 13574. And with the boost, the overall is 12736, but more important, the graphics score went up to 14310. So I find I find that pretty interesting. And of course, you know, you're obviously with your card and your setup, you're going to mess around with it and you're going to make sure that you can get um, uh, the best settings uh, with the most stable gameplay with your um, with your OC. And uh, And let me know how that goes for you. So the uh, sweet spot for my card here, the best settings, um, what I figured out was the GPU clock at 150 and the memory clock at 900 and the power target just maxed that out. 
Um, I tried GPU clock at 200 with memory at, at 1000, but uh, 3D Mark would keep crashing. I mean, it, it wouldn't load the frames at all, so it was not stable. But this is the most stable settings that I've uh, found. So boost clock is off, um, and I have 150 and 900. And with that, my times Y score was 13,105. And my graphics score was the highest yet, which is 14,772, highest from what I've been uh, benchmarking myself. So that's going to be what, what I'm going to be using to, uh, to run uh, my games at. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you guys found this one useful or helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool content. As always, stay safe, be well, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.